my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a big warm welcome. I'm really pleased you could join me. Um, I'm here today, I'm doing an unboxing of a pack, a diamond, um, 5D diamond art painting pack thing. Victoria's Moon are the company, victoriasmoon.co.uk. They reached out to me and asked me if I would review their product. So I did say it's not the sort of thing I normally do on this channel, even though I am mixed media and I do like sometimes do a bit of jewellery making and charms, cards, whatnot. But um, watching someone do the diamond painting would be like watching paint dry unless it's really sped up and that. So they said no, I can unbox, give my opinion and then like maybe show you updates as I'm doing it and tell you a bit of my thoughts. So this is how it came. It says DIY 5D diamond painting. There's some um, illustrations there like photos. Shiny diamond, diamond anthrax, number one non-ironing. And then, yeah, best wishes, right. So this is the box, exactly how it came. I have opened it, right. So I do know what's inside. Because this, oh, well, I'll explain as we open it. Um, right, that is everything out of the box. So I chose a lovely um, image called Dream Landscape. If you want to go and look it up, right, on their website, and this is a 50 by 50 canvas. This is the back. And so this is how it came. I've got all the colours that I need in there. And this is a showing you all the numbers of the colours. And they're not numbered 1 to 31. I've got 31 of them here. They've all got these codes, like 154, 158, and they've all got these little symbols. I don't know how well you can see that, but each number corresponds with a symbol. Right, so that is the piece of paper. And that's it for instructions, um, which is why what I'm saying... Um, is that I already know, I've got it out the wrong way, is that I already know, um, because what was in the box, because I started to film, and then I stopped, and I emailed Victoria's Moon, and said there's no instructions in the box, but they're on the website, so this is how it comes, over here, you have got a little bit where it says, look, there's the symbols and the corresponding numbers. Those numbers are on these packs. So, yeah, the heart is, what, one by four, and, yeah, it'll be on one of these. So, yeah, we've got all of these different ones, and they're all numbered. Oh, look, number 23, number 30. Oh, so... 30 is this one. Oh, they are numbered like that and not the other numbers. Right. Um, yeah, look, number 23 is the pink. Yeah, that's right. Right, so we've got that straight. The numbers from 1 to 32. Um, and, yeah, they're all numbered here, like 23. But they've got these little symbols. And I don't want to keep peeling this back too much because it's sticky under here, right? But on each place where you put something, there's a little symbol. Instead of like them having to try and fit the numbers into these, there's little tiny like flowers and that. So I know if there's a flower, I'm using pack number 18. So that is the little things. Now, there's two choices on the website. You can choose round drills these are called drills for some reason these little things you can choose round or square now if you choose round the artwork doesn't have as much um it's not as clear 
as if you choose square because we all know two squares butt up to each other like that two circles will leave those bits you know like or four circles um you'd have like a little kind of diamond shape wouldn't you in between where the squares butt up all next to each other so you're getting i think it said on the website it's 11 percent clearer if you choose the squares so i wanted squares so this is how it comes. I have read the instructions online and they're very, very straightforward, you know. I've read them and I know exactly what I've got to do. There's some illustrations. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and it does tell you that when you peel this off, you peel a little bit at a time, do that bit. Um, and then peel the next bit do it gradually because it's sticky under here and then when you've got this completely off this um of this this strip you keep it because once this is done completely and you've um rolled it and that and like pressed it down um you put this on it like so that you can really press down and not disturb anything and then afterwards you take it off and you've got your finished piece of art that you can then frame if i don't know how well i'm not sure this is the image i chose it's called dream landscape and you can see it's a person sitting there and they're looking at the sky i really don't know how well you can see that but they're looking at the sky and it's shaped like an eye um I just really loved it it's really a bit of me that and so that's what I chose and like I said my canvas is 50 inches by 50 inches this one on Victoria's moon would normally cost 44.99 but at the moment they've got um, some great deals with like I think some said 40% off some said 45 and that and um, like all different and at the minute this is on there for 34.99 so you're saving a um yeah a whole tenner which is brilliant right this is the tools um this they sell these on the website this is one of the little pen tools that you pick it up with but they said this was a gift so this is the set of tools that you would get and so you've got your little tool here and this is a little thing of wax and so you peel the bit up like it's got a bit of sticky over it and just poke your little tool into there to get a little bit of wax in the hole which makes it oh it's like a gel kind of thing there's wax on the end of this one and that, that's the point there it's a little bit smaller like more precise so you get your bit of gel or wax and then you tip out the colour that you're working with at that time into your little tray. And you can use tweezers if you want. They send you some lovely pointy tweezers if you want to use those. And you tip these into your tray. And then once you, when you've got your little bit of wax into your tool, you pick them up and you put them on the corresponding thing, you know. So it is very straightforward because... I've done similar stuff to this donkeys years ago, but with my kids, it was much bigger, um, like proper gems, like not fiddly or whatnot. So, yeah, it was completely different. I've never used a box like this or done this actual kind of art. It's a bit like painting by numbers, but with little sparkly little bits, like they've got a little shine to them. Um... Yeah, at the mini, or it might be all the time, they offer free shipping worldwide. Um, they also are doing an offer where on some things, it's buy two, get one free. And it does come with all the tools that you're going to need. Apparently this is a little bit of sticky, um, double-sided sticky tape, so that if by chance when you're doing your thing 
you've exposed too much and you've made it unsticky you can cut a bit of this like strong double sided tape and put that on the bit that's not sticky anymore and then put your gems onto it you know so it's a little like like a punch repair kit kind of thing but like a sort of sticky repair kit so that's what that is that's your little tray for your things and with the handy dandy little thing <laughs> to pour it back in there the gel or to make it sticky this pen that they sell on the site it's not part of the kit because look it's fancy you know this is a standard one and they sell this fancy one and they was really kind and gave it to me as a free gift and um, I'm assuming this can be replaced because this is wax you know so maybe you can pick it up with that end as well I'm not sure um, but yeah all the instructions are on the website it's very informative they've got a lot to choose from but I did say I would give an honest review um, and yeah I'm really happy and I'm really excited of how it's going to turn out and all of that but if it was me I would have I'd print off the instructions and put them in for the customer only because yeah they are all there on the website and it's crystal clear I'm not knocking them it's brilliant like it, it tells you everything you need to know everything I've just told you I've repeated parrot fashion from what I've read on the website the only thing I would that what I'm saying is say I bought it for a gift like my mum or my mate one of my best mates um and he's an artist but he doesn't like now and again like like we all do we'll <laughs> we work on one thing and then to relax we'll just work on another thing you know like a different art form that we're like that that's how we are isn't it you know which is why i thought oh yeah i'll enjoy doing this but um yeah so my friend who's a really brilliant artist and my mum and that i don't use the internet so if you were doing some gift and it was for someone that didn't use the internet they can't look on it i suppose you could print them off for them because there might be i might get a little bit further along when i'm getting to the end and there's instructions on what you do at the end and i'll have to refer back because even now and i only looked on it about 10 minutes ago <laughs> even now i can't remember what it said at the end so i'm gonna to have to refer back and if you was getting it some other gift you'd have to either write out or hopefully there like there's a print i don't know if there's a print option on the website I would hope so, but they seem like a lovely, lovely company. They've got all this beautiful stuff. And um, it does say on the website that they will refund you if you're not 100% satisfied, you know. Like, if, if you just thought, if, I don't know, if it went wrong, if it weren't sticky, like, yeah. They, it does say on the website they do refund. But, yeah, you get, the tools are free the shipping spray and um they have got some beautiful beautiful pieces there's a lovely one of a peacock but i ain't got nowhere in my house where i could i thought that would fit you know because it was quite a big one so i picked this one because i absolutely loved it i was torn between the two and yeah i went for this one now there's a hell of a lot of colors in there so i don't know how long this is going to take me to do but i will show you a few updates as i go along you know i won't be doing it all on camera or anything i might do a little bit but i doubt it because it's a long process isn't it and you have to when you're going to start this you have to tape it down either onto a board so you can move away because it, it is quite a long thing to do so if you're doing it and it's taped on your dining table you um you've got to leave it there until it's all finished you know so they do recommend doing it onto a board but i haven't got a board so i probably will be having to do it on my dining table so once it's taped down i won't be moving it about a lot or if my son can get um he said he might be able he might have a bit of balls that he can cut to size for me but then yeah i um 
I don't know about carrying around here, there and everywhere, do you know what I mean? So I don't know whether I will do any on camera, but I will be giving you updates and I hopefully I'll get like one of my boys to sort of carry it and put it, <laughs> put it down here so that you can see, or I'll just take the camera to where I'm doing it and do a quick little um, project share with you. So yeah, it... Um, I'm really excited. I really don't know if you can see that image at all, but it is really lovely. So, yeah, that's it. I've unboxed it. I've given you my opinion. Um, it all looks great, but yes, like I always say, like with BB Craft stuff that I do as well, and I did say this and they asked me, I, I will give an honest opinion. And yeah, my honest opinion is it looks very, very lovely, but for the um just for convenience and that an a4 bit of paper with i mean it could have been on the back of the color chart and that like just a um sheet of instructions i would have found better than having to look on the website and this is another reason <laughs> because this week i dropped my phone into um a sink of water that I was um, hand washing in because one of the kids has got a stain and I was I was like yeah well, I'll get that out and I was hand washing and I dropped my phone and I haven't got the money to go out and buy a new one right now so look what I'm using so I can't go on the internet unless I'm up on my laptop which I keep upstairs so um, yeah I I can't just refer back quickly. I've got to go upstairs and put my laptop on and that to have a look. So, yeah, I would have liked printed ones. But other than that, it all looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, and this is just like to make the tip of your tool sticky. So um, I would have thought that that's plenty to do the thing because you don't have to do it every single time I wouldn't have thought you just put it on the end on the poke the end into it and use it until it stops picking up you know so yeah I would have thought that's plenty and I'm not really sure what um what this end is about because that has got like a little look that goes in there so i don't know what that's about is it that you could pick up a line of them and do it or i don't know <laughs> it looks like a little broom doesn't it is it to sweep them up at the end i'm thinking maybe if you've got a block but then i think it'd pick them up the wrong way yeah it wouldn't be very precise so i don't think it's that maybe it is just to just try and scoop them up or something but yeah it um Oh, that's not the lid for that, it's for those in it. So, yeah, I, um, I'm not sure what that end does, but it, the rest of it is all explained on the website. And, yeah, I would recommend going over and having a little look because um, they have got some lovely pieces. They also do actual painting by numbers for adults. Um... I didn't really look at that. I wasn't really interested in that. If I wanted to paint a picture, I'll paint a picture, you know. Um, but this, um, I've done similar years ago. And, yeah, not not as fiddly. But I did enjoy it when, like, the kids were little and that. And I've not done anything like it since. And, obviously... Times have changed, things have moved on. This is a much better quality looking than I've used in the past. And with different tools and things. So yeah, I just thought I'll give it a go as something that I can do in my downtime, relaxing. But um, yeah, I will be back to tell you more about it as I go along. And if I'm enjoying it, and if I'm finding it easy or difficult, you know, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. 
And so, yeah, thank you for watching. I will be back with a normal video <laughs> very soon. I just wanted to get this um, done while I haven't been actual working because I've just not been up to it. So I thought it came in the post this week. So I thought I'll try and get this filmed so that I can tell you. And yeah, have a look if you want to have a look, you know. But, um, yeah, I, I did tell you the price, didn't I? Yeah, for this one, the 50 by 50 Dream Landscape, at the minute, is £35. But normally, it's £44.99. Yeah, so it's normally 45 quid. It's £34.99 at the minute. So, yeah, 35 all but a penny. And, yeah, um, let me know if any of you do anything like this already like um or similar kind of thing let me know how you get on and if you know why the end of the little picky up pen is shaped like a broom let me know <laughs> if you know because i haven't got a clue so yeah it um i'd be interested to hear because obviously I can see here what they're how they're picking up the, these pieces but yeah I don't I don't know what the um why it's shaped like that but I'm sure some of you must do things like this so yeah let me know how you think what you think and that and um if you think I'm gonna have a nightmare with it because <laughs> it's so big and me and fiddly ain't always friends are we but off camera I'm normally better with fiddly than I am on camera I think as soon as I turn the camera on I feel like I'm under pressure <laughs> so yeah especially with the fiddly that's the only thing I feel pressure with but yeah I'll be back with something else very soon and yeah let me know what you think of it all Bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Love ya.